Hi everybody, I'm Paul Tran. Welcome to Learning Unplugged. Let's put the mandolin away for a moment. How curious are you? Wonderful thing, curiosity. It shows we've got a real purpose about us. It allows us to be innovative and creative and find solutions to whatever issues we're facing. What we're gonna take a look at today is the answer to that question, how curious are you? We're gonna take a look at the five dimensions of curiosity. Let's get straight into the first one. We're gonna take a look at what we call deprivation sensitivity. This is when we come from a space where we just feel like we're lacking something. Whatever it is we're doing, there's something missing and we've got to find the solution to it and bridge that gap in order to make our task, our process a little bit more successful. The second dimension is what we call joyous exploration. That's that lovely feeling we get when we're experimenting, we're trying things out, we're testing stuff, and it's just really exciting. And out of all the tests we do, the experiments we do, we get the strands of a really good solution. We find solutions that we never thought we'd find. That's the beauty of joyous exploration. The third dimension is what we call social curiosity. As humans, we have a tendency to look around, to listen, to observe what other people are doing, how they're doing it, what they're saying and how they say it. And social curiosity is often a great way of just noticing good solutions, just by being aware and interested. The next dimension is what we call stress tolerance. This is where we're comfortable with that anxiety of not quite knowing what we're looking for, even if we're under pressure. We're quite calm and we know that if we stay curious, we'll find the right solution. And the fifth dimension is what we call thrill seeking. It's that feeling we get when we go into that really challenging pitch, or maybe when we present on a stage to a huge audience. We're anticipating it. It's a little bit scary, but it's really thrilling. And it's a great way of accessing curiosity because when we're doing these thrill-seeking activities, we find out a lot about ourselves and we often find things that we weren't expecting. So everybody, there's the five dimensions of curiosity. Deprivation sensitivity, joyous celebration, social curiosity, stress tolerance, and thrill-seeking. Now what's useful here is to consider which of these five dimensions you access frequently. Where else could you access them? Who else could you access them with? And then have a think about the dimensions that you don't tend to use. How could they help you? Which one are you gonna try out first for the first time? This is a really great way of opening up your curiosity and picking the right dimension for the right moment. Have a play around with them. Let me know how you get on. And if you want to know a little bit more about my work in general and learning unplugged, you can take a look at the website, which is ptps.co.uk or the YouTube channel, which is Paul Tran Trainer. Have fun experimenting with the five dimensions of curiosity. And I'll see you soon on the next Learning Unplugged.